We just installed Boost Auto Parts glass on the 2020 tow mirrors. You may be wondering what's so special about this. Look at that one. GM got rid of the turn signal on the mirror on the 2020s. Not sure why, but they got rid of them. And I really like that function. Now on this side, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done step by step. So first things first, close the door and two, pop the bottom lens out like this. And just make sure I'm on the, just like that, the bottom one pops out. Bottom one's pretty easy. And then on these trucks, the top ones are pretty easy too. Uh, just inspect to make sure you didn't break any tabs because on the other side I did break one of the tabs and I just kind of super glued it. Alright, so let's go ahead and just put this right here so we don't lose it or misplace it. Top glass is a little bit tricky. These are easier to do than the previous generation mirrors because there's really only four tabs holding the glass. There we go, just like that. Comes out. So the back of the mirror is going to look like this. So you're, you're going to unplug these two sensors and then unplug this right here. That should be it. That's your defroster. The bottom one's a little harder for some reason. Push on the tab. There we go. We'll have to fight a little bit. There's four T15s holding this in like this. So you're gonna undo those and then undo the plug right here. You just, we are going to use the supplied harness. This harness is gonna have, a, have an R and an L on it. R is for the passenger side and then L is for the driver's side. So this is the harness provided by Boost Auto Parts. This is basically like a splitter. So unplug this right here. And then plug in the splitter like this until it clicks and then the factory goes into the splitter like so there you go by the way i do have boost auto parts switchback smoked out switchback lens which works really well and then here we have the mirror glass from Boost Auto Parts. It's going to look like this. I do have the uh, defroster and the blind spot monitor. As you can see, factory one, blind spot monitor, like blind spot indicator right there. And then the Boost Auto Parts has the blind spot indicator and the turn signal. So... Flip it to the back. There you go. What you want to do is take these off, transfer it to the Boost Auto Parts one, and then you want to take this off. And actually, what we want to do is that's why I'm doing a video on this side instead of over there because that one was uh, for me to learn on. What I found to be easier, pop this out. Because what I did on that one in the beginning was I popped this out. And then I put it on this mirror, and then from there I try to put it on this motor after putting the motor onto the mirror. What I found out to be easier is to take this out, put this on the motor, and then put the motor onto the mirror, and then pop the glass onto this last. That's what I found out to be the easiest because I was like struggling over there for like 30 minutes trying to get it to fit and for some reason it just really wouldn't. It's a little hack that I found out while doing this on the other side. And to take these out, it's just these little tabs that you got to pull back and it's just a little harder to do with 
in one hand. Just like that, this one pops out. And then these, get a small flathead, push down on it, push down on this little tab, and then slide out. So you're gonna need two hands. And then just transfer them over to this mirror, like so. This one's a little tricky because of this. I actually broke the tab on the other side, so I may end up doing the same thing. Just like that. And then now we're gonna put this onto the motor, like this, and just press down on it. There you go. See, it requires some force for the center to click to the motor. It's just a lot harder to do while it's mounted onto the mirror. While I have this out, let me explain it to you guys a little bit better. So basically the way the motor goes in like this. So that's top and bottom, that's left and right. And then you want this to go in like this with this being the top. As you can see, like if you can read the label, this is the proper way. This is, this is centered up right here. What you wanna do is this part is gonna snap onto this part right here. So that's really all you need to do. Uh, what I was originally trying to do was I thought this, all, all the corners snapped into here, but it really doesn't. And you really wanna focus on snapping the center. There we go. Just like that. And then it'll all just snap in place. But if you worry about snapping the corners first, it doesn't work very well. So worry about snapping the center. And then once the center is snapped on there, uh, all, all four sides will snap in place. And then now we put the Boost Auto Parts glass on here. Make sure you put all your connectors back on. There you go, just like that, we're done. What's a DIY install without a mess up? Uh, so it looks like I got it, so I'm going down. It's going up, so I have it backwards. So, the fact that I thought it looked upside down, it was because in fact, it was upside down. So I gotta undo that mirror and uh, flip it, which is not gonna take that long. All right, so I am locking in my answer here. So the way it goes in is like this. And then, like that. This is my final answer. I'm locking in right here. As far as the quality of the glass goes, it's not too bad, but the factory one definitely does weigh a little bit more and it does feel a little bit sturdier than, than these. But another thing I noticed is, I feel like the factory one might be a little bit more clearer these definitely don't seem as clear as the factory ones uh, these kind of do have a little bit of a slight funky look to them but it's not bad maybe i just need to get used to it or i don't know maybe there maybe there's like i don't know residue or something from manufacturing that needs to be uh cleaned up i don't know but they they definitely have a little bit of that weird shape like the i don't know how to say like the warpy look to them other than that i mean it's not too bad not that I really use the top mirrors that much. I always use these bottom mirrors more than anything. But, I mean, this truck's got like 36 different cameras. So, I use the cameras and the screen more than anything.
like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>